hit checkbox Okay, and I'm going to rename it as <coughs> this is uh, D1 D1 memes. Okay, the text I'm going to change this D1 D1 memes. <coughs> the uh, registers pin 1 and this is going to be D2 like that I am going to uh, give the name to the uh, each uh, checkbox because I am going to when a checkbox is selected it means that the uh, uh, that pin number was selected uh, it means that pin number was enabled so we can get the output output from there only for uh, designing uh, I'm not going to design a very beautiful interface just simple interface that you can understand what are the things that we have done here so if you want to do any beautiful things it's up to you how to design it I'm just simply give the codes to what you need to do okay now let's click when you click this button it means that we have to we have the access to the our port so when i am going to double click in that and go into the code part this is wha what is called the code part this will handle that when the text box one is checked it means the d1 we have to output the uh, data pin 2 to the appropriate value so the data pin 2 will be the zero value so we have we can use the uh, as the zero value lets us access the our class from our we name it as port port access and we have a method called output so this is the thing that we have uh, int address and int pin number now we are going to use the data pin so we have to use the data pin address as 378 now i'm going to when i press the d1 checkbox button I want to uh, put the zeroth uh, pin uh, will be uh, flash so I have to use the zero as the um, as the uh, let's see it is because of because of that I am already told about the 2 to the power 0 will be uh, the zeroth location so I have to use the zero likewise I'm going to use all the things like that <coughs> <coughs> and I'm going to use the second one here the fourth one like that just simply mm, click and pay I'm going to paste that and uh, put the appropriate uh, number for the pin simple things have been done here it means that now let's run this uh, before uh, okay let's run it now you 
can just simply push this and you can see when uh, insert your uh, parallel port cable into the parallel port and select to uh, second pin to the ninth pin and uh, give them to the LEDs as we showed in our uh, circuit diagram like this this is the uh, zero turn the first turn second and like that and this is the zero location and the uh, second location fourth likewise you can uh, give the uh, circuit wires and give the appropriate resistor for here and you can trim simply just uh, click on here and the LED will be flashed very much like and if you can you put all these pins together it means that you are all the LEDs will be flashed and if you remove like this only the selected uh, value um, uh, LEDs will be trimmed and uh, that's all and you can uh, use uh, use a uh, while loop or a for loop to uh, automatic this it means that you don't need to click this you need to use a uh, while loop and use the uh, appropriate pin numbers I mean those 0 and 32 and when if the the loop is going you can uh, make a, a beautiful LED flashing uh, uh, pattern so I hope you will enjoy our video thank you very much